Hey guys, I am already in pajamas and there should be boundaries between teachers and students. So you get to look at a picture of George and Lenny from the film adaptation instead of my face. So the next thing we need to do in preparation for this mock trial is come up with your thesis statement or theory for your um, side of the trial. So if you are on the prosecution side, that will be George is guilty of first degree murder. If you are on the defense side, it is he is not guilty of first degree murder and your reasons why. But you need to go deeper than just he's guilty or not guilty and come up with a theory um, that you can use in your argument. So Think about um, like crime novels you have read, uh, crime lawyer movies you have seen, and think about or actual cases that you have heard about, and think about the theories that those attorneys have um, developed and how they are able to play with the evidence that is presented to fit their theory. We're going to look at um, several different ideas about uh, morality and ethics and decision making um, to help you with these theories and um, a few other things. But for now, I want you to kind of start laying the groundwork for the theory that your group wants to come up with. So the... Uh, Steinbeck wants readers to think that George killing Lenny is a mercy killing. Um, that instead of getting who knows what happened to him by this angry mob of Curly and the other men, that George does the compassionate thing and kills his friend. Um, what I want you to do is dig deeper than that and think about what evidence do we see in the book of George being guilty because of this theory that you come up with or George being not guilty because of this theory that you come up with. Um, so I'm not going to give you a lot of direction at this point for that. And I really wish I was in class with you to kind of tease out these ideas, but um, I want you to start working on that. And then considering the text evidence to support your theory, kind of just a preliminary ideas and some text evidence and I have posted a an evidence tracker on the PBL 5 page in Haiku for you to use um, for you to put in your preliminary theory and start uh, jotting down some text evidence and how that text evidence works to support your theory. So for example when I say your theory, um, Miss Ashcraft in Longview, her kids just finished their mock trial, and she said the prosecution team uh, in her class developed the theory that Lenny is a victim of Stockholm syndrome. Stockholm syndrome. Um, if you're not familiar with that, it is basically. Bill from Beauty and the Beast, where she starts to sympathize with her captor. Um, and we talked about Lenny being a domesticated animal and being a, a, a dog-like figure to George and that he follows him around and is trained and mimics him. Um, so that group compiled their text evidence to support that Lenny was basically in captivity um, and he started to sympathize with George and, um, that led to his death. So that's just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about when I say theory. Um, so we need to think of the trial process as a, a living essay. So I'll start with your, um, thesis. That's your theory and your, um, Evidence to support that theory will be like your body paragraphs and we, you will present your counter argument 
consider the other side and why they are wrong through the trial process. So for today, I want you to get together with your group, the prosecution team get together, the defense team get together, start teasing out some ideas for your theory as to why George is guilty or not guilty, and start recording some text evidence in your evidence tracker. Um, I will not see you guys tomorrow either because of benchmark testing, and then you guys will be gone on Friday to the university, so I will not see you until after um, spring break. But if you have any questions, please come see me uh, during lunch or after school or shoot me an email, and I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with.